Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'm so excited to share with you a new tool that I worked on and created. And this tool is actually currently for free on my website, or tapway.com.au slash webwrite, or you can also download the free application from the App Store directly. I'll leave a link to the description. I'll leave a link in the description for the app and also the web version of it. Now for today's episode, I'll be showing you the web version, which is exactly the same as the app one but I'll be using it just for ease and demonstrate to you what this tool can do and we'll also be going over the short, answer, short answers and basically the power of our AI and what it can do and some interesting questions that we'll be asking this tool. Now what actually is this tool? As you can see in the description here, the tool basically allows you to enter very few keywords and using those keywords you can generate a product description, a cover letter, uh, a job description, a cute message to a friend or a partner, and also even answer short answers. And you can ask it anything you think of and it will actually give you very detailed answers. Now the first uh, demo that I'll be showing here is the product descriptions and then we'll go to key messages and then finally, the one that I'm actually very interested in is the short answers. So let's get started with the product descriptions and then all I'll do is I'll click get, or actually maybe we can start with the social media advertisement and I'm going to click on get started and once we're here, all I'll do basically is give either a service or a product that I offer that I would like to create an ad for. In my scenario, I do apps and websites. So all I'll say is software development agency. And all I'll do is click on get recommendations. And you can see that straight away in just a few seconds, it says looking for a reliable and experienced software development agency. Look no further than our team of experts. We have years of experience in developing custom software for businesses of all sizes. Contact us, contact us today to get started. That's, all, that's how easy it is to actually generate ads and content in general using the WebWrite tool that I created. Let's give it more detailed examples. For example, let's say you're someone who sells personalized boxes or personalized water bottles and you'd like to make an advertisement for that. Now, all I'll do is literally just type in personalized water bottles and click on get recommendations. And in a few seconds, it will generate some content for you. Our, pres our personalized water bottles are the perfect way to keep you hydrated on the go. Add your name or message to one of our designs and make it uniquely yours. Now, the best thing is in this is that let's say you don't like this and you'd like something else. All you need to do is simply just click again on get recommendations and it will generate more ideas for you, sometimes more, sometimes less. For example, now it's saying, looking for a unique and personalized gift for a loved one, look no further than our personalized water bottles. Each bottle can be customized with the recipient's name and a special message, making it the perfect way to show your affection. Our water bottles are made from high quality materials and are BPA free, ensuring that, our, that your loved one can enjoy their drink safely. What's more, our bottles are also recyclable, making them a more environmentally friendly option. Why not take a look at a range of water bottles today and choose the perfect one for your loved one? Now you can't tell me that you can think of that yourself. It's really good and it's really effective and it's very quick as well. But the best thing about it is that it actually gives you um, real information. It doesn't just generate random messages or random words and puts it together. And what I mean by that is that it actually goes through the internet. It sees what everyone else is posting. It sees what everyone else is describing their products as. And then gets you actual facts and puts it for you in an ad and not just jumble, jumbling random stuff. For example, if I go ahead and put iPhone 6S and ask it to make an ad for that, what it will do is it will actually go ahead and research what that iPhone actually has. For example, it's saying introducing the new iPhone 6S with a powerful A9 chip and a 12 megapixel camera. It's the most powerful advanced yet. And with 3D touch, you can do more than ever before. So not just did it generate random information about the iPhone 6S, but it actually went on the internet, it found out that it had an A9 chip, it found out that it had a 12 megapixel camera, and that it also has 3D touch. And it used those facts in the advertisement, which I find very cool. Let's look at another example, which is the key messages one, because I actually really like it. If I click on it, and come over here, and we can say anything. For example, we can say, uh, graduation message to sister. And if you click on get recommendations, it will actually write you a nice message. It will say, my dearest sister, 
As you graduate from college, I can't help but feel incredibly proud of you. It seems like, you, like just yesterday that you were starting your freshman year, and now you're about to embark on your new chapter in your life. I wish you all the best in the world and can't wait to see what you achieve. I'm grateful to have you as my sister, and I know that no matter what life throws you away, you'll be able to handle it. You're an amazing person, and I feel so lucky to have you in my life. Congratulations, sister. I love you. So it actually gives you uh, sentiment messages that you can actually share with other people. Now, let's get to the two things that I want to demonstrate what this AI can tool can do, and that is um, the YouTube video ideas and also the generate short answers. And I know you're waiting for the generate short answers, but trust me, everything else is worth it as well. So I'm going to click on the YouTube video idea. And over here, basically, what this section can do is that it can generate up to 10 different ideas for you to use in your YouTube video. For example, let's say we want to we have a technology channel, just like this channel, and we want to explain uh, why you need to learn programming. All I need to type in is something like benefits of programming. And I'm going to click on get recommendations. And almost instantly, it gives you 10 different ideas that you can do. Benefits of programming. Benefits of programming for your career. Um, Okay, this one is not the best, <laughs> so let's do one again. Benefits of programming. And that's what, like I said earlier, sometimes they might not give the best results, and all you need to do is just do it again. And maybe I can say, what is the benefit of learning programming? So you can also give it more information, and it will give you different results. Benefits of learning to program, the reasons you should learn to program, the benefits of learning to program in today's world, while, learn prog while learning programming is important, uh, the benefits of learning to program for students, and the benefits of learning programming for seniors, and so on. You can also do something like uh, cooking, or how to raise a dog, and click Get Recommendations, and it will give you 10 different recommendations on video ideas that you can do. For example, how to potty train your dog. How to stop your dog from barking, how to teach your dog to sit, how to keep your dog from jumping on people, how to make your dog behave on a leash. These are all ideas that this will generate for you that you can create YouTube videos about if you have a YouTube channel. Finally, and I know this is the part that you've been waiting for, is the generate short answers. And the reason for that is because we're actually going to be ask it, asking it a very important question, or I think at least a very important question, and let's just discover it together. So generate short answers. Basically, it will give you an answer based on your question, but it won't just be like a yes or no question answer. It will actually go on the internet, research, find out what everyone else is saying, and then give you an, an answer along with some follow-up questions. For example, if I go ahead and ask, is AI better than humans? And click on get recommendations. What it will tell you and this will be different to each person, is there is no simple answer to this question as it depends on a variety of factors. In, in some cases, artificial intelligence may be better than humans at performing specific tasks, while in other cases, humans may be better suited for the task at hand. One area where AI has proven to be better than humans is in the realm of data processing and analysis. For example, Google's AlphaGo AI was able to beat the world's best Go player by using a combination of deep learning and reinforcement learning algorithms. In other areas, such as creativity and abstract thinking, AI has yet to surpass humans. For example, when it comes to generating new ideas, humans still outperform AI systems. So in short, it depends on the task at hand. In some cases, AI may be, may be better than humans, while in other cases, humans may be better suited for the task. And I really like this answer, because not just does it not just say yes or no, but it also sort of gives you a demonstration of everything that we've been doing so far in this video. If you can tell, we tested the advertisements, we tested um, the key messages, we tested YouTube ideas, and in all three examples, the AI was able to create content much quicker than any human can, like it was able to write actual detailed paragraphs very quickly, and it had some facts in it, so it went on the internet, it checked what each iPhone had, for example, it checked what people would like in a personalized bottle, and what's approved, what's, sa what's safe about them, and it included that in its paragraph or in its answer much quicker than any human can do. Now, this doesn't mean that AI is better than humans. It is definitely better in, 
data processing, just like this answer said. But still, when it comes to creativity and when it comes to abstract thinking, I don't think AI will ever actually surpass humans or outperform them. For example, this tool here can generate messages and information much quicker than I can. It can go through thousands of articles and thousands of data existing on the internet right now and give me an actual unique answer. But all of this is still depending on previous information already provided to this AI tool. While on the other hand, humans at least are motivated to go and do things that don't necessarily exist or don't necessarily depend on previous information. For example, I created this tool because I needed to generate some product descriptions for my online shop. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what, it would be cool to have this tool and I created it. I don't think at any stage, no matter how many times someone uses this tool, this tool will ever wake up one day and decide, you know what, I would like to do this instead or I would like to uh, create images rather than show them messages. And I think that's where really humans outperform AI. In fact, I think that's the best way to use AI and that's to accommodate for humans' needs rather than let it do anything else. Um, this tool is only useful if a human is using it and I think it's really good that it stays that way. Um, once again, I think asking an AI um, if AI would be better than humans and getting this answer after using the AI really does show you what we can use it for and it also shows you the limitations as long as the things where AI really peaks in. Um, overall, this is it for this episode. I just wanted to demonstrate to you my tool, which you can download and view on my website. I also wanted to talk a little bit about AI and its limitations and what it can do and also show you what else um, it does really good currently. Now we'll be adding much more features in this tool as you can see over here. So keep checking it. There will be much more options coming up, much more ideas. And please feel free to message me or contact me or give me some feedback on the tool or on how this video was in general. Thanks so much and I hope to see you in the next episode.